Hi, uh, welcome to the Udu uh, series training um, uh, presentation. So in this video, I will present you um, the Udu SH, uh, how we can create project uh, in Udu SH and uh, how, uh, what features Udu SH uh, provide us for the development of uh, and the management of Udu Enterprise Edition. Um, so go uh, to the Udo SH website. So uh, the website is already uh, opened here. So we will sign in. Uh, Udo SH is integrated to the GitHub. So uh, you need a GitHub account to uh, sign in at Udo SH. So I already have Udo SH account. So um, sign it. Okay. So here is the list of uh, different uh, projects. So we will create a, a new project here. My projects. Or oh, uh, here we have an option create a new project. So we will click on the create new. Okay. So uh, deploy your platform here. We will create a, a new Udo project. Uh, uh, so here we will write the project uh, name, project zero one, which version uh, we wanna use for Udo thirteen, twelve, or eleven. Udo um, currently um, now Udo only offer three versions 11 12 and 13 uh, 10 has removed now subscription code if we have a, a partnership code or subscription code then we can only create a, a project at Udo asset so I already have a subscription code so I will put it here and then hosting locations there uh, there are three uh, locations are available currently Americas, Europe and Asia so I will select the Asia and then go to the deploy so uh, the project is being completed by default uh, a master branch will be created uh, by default with a new project so uh, uh, this is the project screen of our Udo uh, SH project so at the left side there are uh, production staging and development Udo SH offer three type of uh, branches uh, one is development and uh, we can create as many as uh, branches in under the development staging and the uh, other stage is production we can create uh, one branch under uh, production stage so we cannot create more than one uh, database is uh, uh, under the production stage and in the staging uh, this is a paid service so uh, we only need to pay for production and staging branch so we can also buy the staging branches as uh, per our need or as per our demand we have to pay to Udo to buy uh, staging branches if we uh, if we buy one staging branch then we can only create one staging branch. Staging branch usually we can use for the uh, testing purpose. Uh, the production database is finalized and we will add a new custom uh, development. So we can uh, test it in the staging branch before moving to the production final uh, database. So in, uh, in the development, the master under the uh, development uh, stage, master branch has been created and we can make uh, 
fork we can fork a new uh, branch new database or new branch uh, here we can say dev 100 so I fork the master branch uh, with uh, 12 uh, dev 100 branch so it is being in progress so when we will create a new branch it will automatically create a branch at the github as well so uh, on the top of uh, the menu uh, this is the project menu project settings and uh, under the dev 100 you can see this is the uh, branch uh, menu uh, here we can uh, we can uh, uh, all related the branch settings and uh, different things which we will discuss uh, later on so we try to create an mm, other branch under production stage so um, branches in the branches menu all the staging are available at here and when we click on the build here the branches are available and uh, we can uh, move to the github directly from here uh, if you click on that uh, jump to the uh, github branch so this is a, a github uh, project and uh, uh, branches and we can also rebuild the branch here can connect here and all the changes previous builds uh, uh, shall be available here for uh, um, which we can use any of the uh, previ previous uh, built uh, if we need so in the status menu generally we can uh, see here the statuses of the uh, per, uh, databases or branches uh, the production br uh, branch and uh, staging branch what is the uptime and downtime of um, all the statuses you can see here uh, it take a little bit time to load all the statistics so here we can see uh, what is the average time uptime past day uptime past week past month and the output data past day so here we can uh, view the status of our branches uh, production branch uh, and uh, all the branches production and uh, staging and development as well so into the um, setting tab here we can rename our project's name we can add the collaborator um, um, that is um, the github users we can add for the collaboration uh, we can add as many as uh, github developers for the production and provide the access user and admin as well multiple admin can also be possible uh, public access if we allow the public access people can uh, publicly access this uh, uh, project uh, here is the module installation install only my module or full installation of all modules install a list of uh, uh, modules so there are different options available uh, custom domains uh, here uh, we can configure the uh, custom domain as well uh, with our project so um, the database uh, Udo will directly connect to the custom domain currently it is uh, by default it will only uh, integrated with if we uh, open the PRD 100 it will redirect to the uh, subdomain of Udo so here is the project uh, so project 01.udo.com so uh, um, currently this is the um, domain uh, subdomain of Udo but we can add our uh, custom domain 
as well with the project so this is the uh, related to the production database what is the size of the production database and database workers we can buy and use as many as workers we require but usually if the users are 25 uh, or less users we are using then uh, with the production database then one worker uh, is recommended or could be enough for us staging branches there is a two staging branches by default available with any of new uh, newly created project so two staging branches available and here is the activation code uh, we can change the subscription code as well if you are the partner you can the partners can uh, use a new project for a, uh, for a month uh, with the partnership code and it will expire uh, after a one month usage so uh, so here is the uh, config um, um, project menu now go to the um, staging menu so under production branches there is a history uh, it will create all it will give us the history of all the uh, push and pulls the initial commit the, uh, database uh, branch is created as um, uh, all the uh, push and pull details shall be available here in the uh, shell menu we can access directly the um, okay uh, it's taking a, a bit time to load it will load the um, shell of the ubuntu our linux operating system here we can connect directly to the database as well psql and directly run our commands or uh, linux commands over or here so um, this is the shell and the editor which is a very powerful uh, tool offered by udo uh, by udo asset for the directly development it is fully configured and we can create our customized modules the development team can create uh, customize module um, through Udo online editor so uh, it's taking a little bit time here so this is a log here we can see the log of our uh, branch or our database so this is the editor which is logit now um, so in our upcoming video I will explain you how we can create a project in the Udo uh, asset editor so uh, today we will uh, not discuss the Udo uh, asset editor so coming back to the Udo asset screen so here is the log of the selected uh, branch so currently I selected PRD 100 so this is the all log of Udo uh, PRD 100 branch uh, another is a backup Udo asset offer a 14 backups one daily backups for uh, um, seven days and uh, uh, one uh, four backup weekly backups and one monthly backups so uh, 14 backups Udo provide and once the 14 limit created um, the um, uh, when the latest backup added last one removed from the list automatically so uh, we can uh, manually add a backup or Udo automatically create a, a daily backup uh, on his own schedule so you can see here the seven daily and four weekly backup so download dump uh, we can download the dump of prd100 the backup is only available for the production branch and go to the settings here we can check 
um, the 13 version we are currently using and here we can use the Eurovisions and latest versions of Udo and here we can add a custom domains uh, for example if we want to use our own custom domain we can add uh, www.abc.com add a domain the domain will add here how to set up my domain we can uh, see here uh, we need to create a CNAME record the procedure is mentioned here method is mentioned here how we can configure our uh, domain so this is all about the uh, Udo asset so here we also create uh, clone the project so uh, with the command here we can fork uh, the um, a branch if we click on the one it will create a base branch and then new branch and then we can merge uh, multiple branches and uh, SSH through SSH we can connect our Udo asset through SSH some modules uh, Udo offer to uh, add a customization as a sub module if we are not using uh, if uh, someone is not using uh, github um, uh, as github is not offering uh, freely uh, the private repository so if um, people are using uh, bitbucket or gitlab or any other uh, uh, git platform then we can also use the sub modules uh, from other um, service provider from other kits so we can add uh, some modules as well uh, here uh, the list of all the Udo assets pro projects and this is the menu we can go into the contact support FAQs and feedback and documentation is also available also this is the uh, complete introduction of Udo assets in our next video we will work on the online editor how we can create um, a new custom modules uh, without any IDE external IDE we can directly create uh, Udo assets development uh, through Udo assets online editor until now thank you very much hope